हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी सेलिएंट डायमेंशंस क्लीयरेंस विड्थ ऑफ कैरेज वे शोल्डर्स मीडियंस विड्थ ऑफ रोड वे एंड राइट ऑफ वे नाउ वी विल फर्स्ट स्टार्ट विद द विड्थ ऑफ कैरेज वे नाउ द विड्थ ऑफ पेवमेंट और कैरेज वे डिपेंड्स ऑन विड्थ ऑफ ट्रैफिक लेन एंड नंबर ऑफ लेन्स the portion of carriage way width that is intended for one line of traffic movement is called a traffic lane as different classes of vehicle travel along the same roadway generally the lane width is decided based on a standard vehicle such as the passenger car however it is also necessary to consider the maximum width of the largest vehicle class such as the heavy commercial vehicle that is hcv which is legally permitted to use the roadway in the country the width of traffic lane should also be such that there is sufficient lateral clearance on either side of the moving vehicle it means that if a vehicle is moving on a particular road it should have a sufficient clearance distance on either side of the vehicle that is like this the lateral clearance required is higher for higher operating speeds of vehicle therefore considering all these factors a width of 3.5 meter per lane is generally provided on rural highways in india if the pavement has two or more lanes the lane width is increased to 3.75 meter which is shown in this diagram if there is raised curb such as footpath of urban roads on single lane roads the width of carriage way is 3.75 meter whereas in low volume roads or village road the width may be lesser the number of lanes required in a highway depends on the predicted traffic or the designed traffic volume and the desired level of service therefore the width of pavement is increased on horizontal curve so that enough space is provided on the curve through which the vehicle can negotiate a curve safely without any overturning now the lateral placement of heavy commercial vehicle on single and two lane pavement are shown in this diagram that is shown here as well as for two lane road it is shown here now the width of carriage way for various classes of roads standardized by the indian road congress that is irc are given in this table that is for single lane road the width of 3.75 meter is provided for two lane without curb width of 7 meter is provided two lane with curb width of 7.5 meter is provided for intermediate lane width of 5.5 meter is provided and for multiple lane pavement 3.5 into number of lane width is provided now the next is width of roadway now width of formation or roadway is the sum of width of pavement or carriage way including separators if any and the shoulder it means that the width of formation or width of roadway is the total sum of width of pavements or carriage way including separators as well as shoulder if there is any shoulder exist now formation or roadway width is the top width of the highway embankment or the bottom width of highway cutting excluding the side drains now width of roadway of various classes of road is given in this table now for national and state highway for single lane road in case of plain and rolling terrain the width is 12 meter and for mountainous and steep terrain case the width is 6.25 meter similarly for two lane road 12 meter for plain and rolling terrain and 8.8 meter for mountainous and steep terrain now for major district road for single lane road in case of plain and rolling terrain width of 9 meter is required as well as for two lane road width of 9 meter is required which is shown here now for single lane road in case of mountainous and steep terrain width of 4.75 meter is provided now for other district road in case of single lane road for plain and rolling terrain 7.5 meter width is provided and for mountainous and steep terrain case 4.75 meter width of roadway is provided now for two lane road in case of plain and rolling terrain 
9 meter width of roadway is provided and for village road that is for single lane road in case of plain and rolling terrain 7.5 meter width is provided and for mountainous and steep terrain 4 meter width is provided as roadway width. Now the next one is median. In highways with divided carriageway a median is provided between two sides of traffic lane intended to divide the traffic moving in opposite direction. It means that median is generally provided to divide the traffic moving in opposite direction. The main function of the median is to prevent head-on collision between vehicles moving in the opposite direction on adjacent lanes. The median is also called as traffic separator. Now the traffic separator is used maybe in the form of pavement markings physical dividers or area separators which is shown here. Pavement marking is the simplest of all these but this will not rule out head-on collision. So the mechanical separator may be suitably designed keeping in view about the safety consideration. Now the median or traffic separator may also serve the following functions. The first one is to channelize the traffic into stream at intersection. The second one is to shadow the crossing and turning traffic. Third one is to segregate slow traffic. The next one is to protect pedestrian. It is desirable to provide wide median traffic separator of 8 to 14 meter width so that it is possible to carry out future widening of the carriageway towards the median. But the width should be decided in conformity with the availability of land and its cost. A minimum of 6 meter is required to reduce headlight glare due to vehicles moving in opposite direction on either side of the median at night. That's why we will provide a minimum width of traffic separator of 6 meters so that it will reduce the glare effect of the light coming from the vehicle of the opposite direction which will reduce the accidents also. The glare can be reduced in narrower strips by planting shrubs. Generally, small plants will be provided in this traffic separator so as to reduce the glare effect of the opposite vehicle. The IRC recommends a minimum desirable width of 5 meter. For medians of rural highways which may be reduced to 3 meter where land is restricted. On long bridges the width of median may be reduced up to 1.2 to 1.5 meter the median should normally be of uniform width on a particular road but where change in width is unavoidable a transition of 1 in 15 to 1 in 20 must be provided. Thus in highways with divided carriageway the total road width depend on the width of pavement or carriageway and the width of the median dividing island or traffic separator. Next one is the curb. Curb is a boundary between pavement and footpath. It provides lateral support to the pavement and the color of curve is generally black and white or generally yellow and white color which is provided along the side of the roads. Next one is the shoulder. Shoulder are provided on both sides of the pavement all along the road in the case of undivided carriageway. Shoulders are provided along the outer edge of the carriageway in the case of divided carriageway. The earth shoulder should have sufficient stability to support even a loaded truck and therefore they are constructed using good quality material. Now the minimum width of shoulder recommended by IRC is 2.5 meter. Now suppose that on a moving road if there is any halt of vehicle due to any emergency purposes then shoulder is used for the parking of that halted vehicle so that traffic on that road will not get disturbed. Now the important functions of shoulders are shoulder provide structural stability and support to the edges of the flexible pavement particularly to the granular pavement layers.
नेक्स्ट वन इज द कैपेसिटी ऑफ द कैरेज वे एंड द ऑपरेटिंग स्पीड ऑफ व्हीकल इंक्रीजेस इफ द शोल्डर्स आर लेड एंड मेंटेन इन गुड कंडीशन नेक्स्ट फंक्शन ऑफ शोल्डर इज टू सर्व एज इमरजेंसी लेन फॉर व्हीकल कंपेल टू बी टेकन आउट ऑफ द मेन कैरेज वे और रोड वे शोल्डर शुड हैव सफिशियंट लोड बेयरिंग कैपेसिटी टू सपोर्ट लोडेड ट्रक इवन इन वेट वेदर शोल्डर ऑल्सो एक्ट एज सर्विस लेन फॉर व्हीकल दैट आर डिसेबल्ड द विथ ऑफ शोल्डर शुड बी एडिक्यूएट to accommodate stationary vehicle fairly away from the edge of the adjacent lane the surface of the shoulder may be rougher than the traffic lanes so that vehicles are discouraged to use the shoulder as a regular traffic lane the color of the shoulder should preferably be different from that of the pavement so as to be distinct now shoulder is shown in this diagram like this that is the shoulder as well as this is the shoulder similarly there is shoulder as well as there is also shoulder and it is provided on both the sides of the carriage way the next one is right of way right of way is the area of land acquired for road along its alignment the width of the acquired land for right of way is known as land width and it depends on the importance of the road and possible future development a minimum land width has been prescribed for each category of road a desirable range of land width has also been suggested for each category of road while acquiring land for a highway it is desirable to acquire more width of land as the cost of adjoining land invariably increases very much soon after the new highway is constructed so if possible we have to purchase the more area or more land which is nearby to the highway also road side development start taking place making it difficult later on to acquire more land if required for future widening or for other improvement that's why we have to purchase more area nearby the highway in some cases the lower width within the suggested range may have to be adopted in view of high cost of land and other existing features this is particularly true in urban and industrial area the land width is governed by following factors the first one is width of formation which depends on the category of highway width of roadway and road margins the second one is height of embankment or depth of cutting which is governed by the topography and the vertical alignment next one is the side slope of embankment or cutting which depends on the height of the slope soil type and several other considerations including aesthetics the next one is drainage system drainage system and their size which depends on the rainfall topography and runoff the next one is site distance site distance consideration on horizontal curves as there is restriction to the visibility on the inner side of the curve due to obstruction such as building structures etc at sharp curves it is desirable to acquire a wider strip of land particularly on the inner side of the horizontal curve in order to avoid obstructions to visibility and the last one is reserve land reserve land for future widening is to be planned in advance based on anticipated future development and increase in the traffic that is all about the salient dimension clearance width of carriage way shoulder medians width of roadway and right of way 
थैंक यू वेरी मच स्टूडेंट्स